Okay, Bali Major 2, let's just start off with the obvious ones. Uh, this is the worst team I've ever seen make a Major or TI. They're going right at the bottom. I'm, like, all five players are not good. <laughs> they only made the Major because they're in the weak region. Yeah, like, yeah, none of them are good. They're all, this is a mid team. Next. There's a lot of good teams this major to be honest. Beast Coast, Beast Coast is not that good to be honest. Oh yeah, and Parker is playing too. This team's even worse. They're not as bad as now. It's, right? Pa I think Park Parker is playing on Beast Coast right now. Yeah, Parker, yeah. That's, that guy's very bad. They're not as bad as now, you know. Dark Mago is very inconsistent, Parker it, it always plays bad, Sacred's like average, just straight average, never good, never bad. Schofield, he, Schofield, their supports are very good, Stinger and Schofield, like Schofield makes a lot of plays, Stinger's very good at team fighting and laning, but like, they're, they're not that good compared to the rest of the league, obviously. Next, uh, Invictus is very bad too, like, oh whoops, let's look at Invictus. Yeah, this team came last last major. POIW is good, but like the rest of the team, like this is, this is the team is horrific. Also, not as bad as Beast Coast, but very very bad. Extrication is also very bad. Probably better than these two, I think. Emo's back to carry, I guess. Yeah, this team is like a joke. They always switch carry and mid to dust, and Emo always switch positions. It's a wreck, I swear. <laughs> Next, <coughs> uh, probably bleed. Not that good. I know bleed came first, right? They came, yeah, they came first, but not that good to be honest. Who is this guy? Uh, yeah, this team's not that good. Dubu is very bad at laning ice, ice, ice. He he doesn't he doesn't do that good either. I'm surprised this, came, this team came first and see. This team better than than extrication? Maybe. Let's look. Uh yeah, definitely better than extrication, but not that good either. There's a lot of good teams this major to be honest. So who's next? Backlist? Probably Azura Ray is not that good to be honest. Like they have Somnus, they have Chalice, they have FY. Those those three are pretty decent, but like the other two aren't that good. Nine pandas I think are also really bad. They kept the Ramses. Ramses played so bad last major, and they he got carried so hard. Same as Miro. On Towers is very good at Skyrath major. That guy's a beast. He rooms nonstop. Dead Roger. Roger was a beast. He literally had like split pushing like a beast. Solo was like a big downgrade. But Solo is not that bad. And Kiyotaka solo carried them a lot of games. The team's too inconsistent, like Ramses and Miro are too bad. Unless Kiyotaka can solo carry again, they're, they're not that good to be honest. Okay, Kiyotaka like 1v5 as Tinker, that guy literally 1v5. He's, he's very good at landing too. Blacklist. Eh, the team's not that bad. Okay. Azura Ray maybe. They're, they're below 9 pandas, I think. They above bleed. Um, Not sure. No, I think Azura's Ray is a little bit worse. Alright. Who's next? Blacklist is not that weak, but like, they're not that strong either. Cuckoo switched to pause 5. Yeah, that's a pretty weird, but Tim's is good, KPI is good, Carl's very good, Raven's very good. Carl and Raven, I seen literally solo carry so many games, Carl is so good at roaming. So they, they belong at D, they're not that bad. Oh, Shopify is not, not that good either. Hmm. Yeah, they need a better offlaner, they always have a weak offlaner. They had Ice Ice Ice, he's, he's trash, then they had... Nightfall, he's trash, and then they have Saberlight, he's trash. Like, Saberlight like loses lane every game, and he he feeds nonstop on the map. He has like very bad map awareness, but the rest of the roster is pretty good. Albert always wins lane. 
Artizi, he feeds a lot too. Artizi is pretty trash, but Fly is very consistent. Pause Fly laning and roaming. He always does good plays. Crit is very good at roaming. So they're probably. Are they above Blacklist? Yeah, probably. I put him at C. Shot the Fly. Alright. Who is next? The teams left look really good. Alright. Hmm. So Bad Boom, they did a, they did a big uh, change. Nightfall plays carry now. And I think he's a million times better at Pure than carry, but Pure is still worse. Offline than Nightfall, but it's still a big improvement to the roster like Nightfall. His team feeds uh, some games and Nightfall still has zero deaths and very good farm like this guy. He's very good map awareness, very good at farming. Nightfall is a beast at carry. I think I think they are gonna be way better. But not that not that good. They need they need a real offlaner. They keep on doing this dumb carry switching thing. Then they have save. This save guy is very good too. He's so good at roaming. And then Toronto Tokyo, he's pretty good plus five. He he, he improved a lot. I remember Lima Major, he played so bad, but then uh, Berlin Major, he he played pretty good. He played above average for Tony Fox Five. So good for them. Are they, are they in B or C? <coughs> Maybe... They're below Shopify. So I'll put them as C. GPK is like... This guy feeds non-stop and he barely roams. He got so much worse. Ooh, these are all the good teams left, Jesus. Next, I have Spirit. Spirit, they, all the players got so much worse. And Laro is their worst player. Laro is so bad, he feeds a lot of the games. Some games, he goes by, by himself alone, 1v5 a lot of times. And Taro is very consistent, but he's not like super good anymore, but he barely makes mistakes, so that's a good thing. He farms very fast to collapse. Collapse has a huge hero pool now, but he's still not as good as he is on Nars and Magnus. And then, yeah, this team is nothing like they used to be, but they're not that bad. Maybe a little bad boom, maybe? Yeah, a little bit. Probably, maybe I'd see. Uh, yeah, probably, yeah, probably here. Yeah, Lara, Lara's a meme. That guy had, like, plays very bad a lot. I think the rest of the teams left are really good. Shiro is very consistent, he doesn't do much mistakes, nothing to say, he played so bad last major and last DPC, but he improved a lot, he's back to normal, he doesn't do like dumb plays, going in by himself, he's good at roaming, this new guy is very good at team fighting, Planet is very good at team fighting and roaming, and then, and then the Innocence guy is always consistent, roaming and landing, PSG probably above Shopify, PSG came first in China, yeah, good job, good for them. Alright, B maybe? B or A, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, probably B. I think the rest of the teams are really, really good. Alright, Evil Geniuses. Uh, they also have four really good players, and then they have Chris Luck. He loses mid every game, and he's horrible at laning. And he doesn't roam a lot either. He has no impact. The cause is a beast. He farms fast, he roams a lot, he ganks. He's insane whispers at least. The supports are insane. Panda was second best support. Uh, pause 5. Last major in my opinion. And Matthew's very good at Roman 2. Panda's good at team fighting. Evil Genius is just very good. Maybe A or B. I'm not sure. Probably. Probably. Are they above PSG? Maybe. I think a little bit below. Mm, actually. I'm not sure. I think a little bit above. I think maybe A. Yeah, let's put Evil Geniuses at 8. And these four teams are very good, all of them are left. Are they all gonna go in S? Maybe. Not sure though. Ooh, which teams though? Oh, Liquid's, Liquid is. They got way worse. Nisha's, Nisha's playing like above average now, but he's, he, improved, he got way worse. He does, doesn't farm that fast anymore, he doesn't do good games. Mickey, he has zero impact every game, I swear. Mickey's a bot. Insane, yeah, he's not, he never plays good, never plays bad, but he's just average, you know, pure average. Boxy, he's very good at lot, he makes a lot of good games. Zai does a lot of solo kills, Zai is very good. They're worse than Evil Geniuses, I think. But are they in B or A? I'm not sure. Liquid, maybe. Uh, Liquid below PSG, I think, but above Shopify. 
not sure. I think below Shopify, to be honest. Liquid got way worse. <laughs> Alright, next four teams left. Ooh, these teams are insane. So, nine, 9 was the best player in the world in DPC. His four teammates, Fed, 9, dominates mid, does a million ganks, gets super farmed, literally 1v5s. 9 is a beast. Tundra mid. But his other four teammates are very inconsistent. So, maybe. Maybe A. Yeah, let's put him at A. Better than Evil Geniuses, I think. I think actually worse than Evil, Evil Geniuses improved a lot. They played very good last major. Alright, these four teams left. Let's go. Alright. So, yeah, this team is very good. Monet, he fights a lot and he still gets farmed. He's very good at ganking. Sumail's very good at ganking. He's very good at ro roaming. He gets like, 20 kills some games. XSS very good at team fighting. Roboka very good at roaming. Siamese Cat very good at roaming and team fighting. Very good at positioning. Astro is definitely S, I think. Gaming Gladiators, alright, Gaming Gladiators, the thing that's scary about Gaming Gladiators, it's like a different player plays the best every single game. One of them plays extremely good and then the other four usually is just like average. Celery was the best position 5 in the world last APC, like he played very good, Phoenix very good at team fighting. His Shadow Demon and Phoenix were insane, Tofu, he's, he's just Consistent, he barely does mistakes, he's not too flashy, but he barely does mistakes. Ace, solo carries some games, his Nepo is insane. He farms very good, he farms so fast, he's like the fastest farming offering in the world. And then Quinn, he dominates, he wins his lane every game, he rotates very good. Duracho, he feeds sometimes, but he farms very fast. But he, he does a lot of bad mistakes. But they're still a very good team, to be honest. I think maybe below Aster. And then Quest. <laughs> I think Quest is insane too. Uh, TA2K, I think, was the best carry in the world. Uh, last DPC, this guy improved so much. He farms so fast every game. And he, he he never loses lane, I saw. He literally never loses lane. Most carries, they lose lane against the offlaners. He, he goes even a lot. And offlaners are supposed to destroy the carry lane, you know? And then Noob, he, Noob, this guy ganks a lot. And he's so active, so good. He makes so much space for Amar and TA. Then Amar is a beast, he, he farms so fast, he wins his lane every game, he has so much impact in team fights. Amar is a beast. Omar is a beast, one of the best pause forwards in the world also. This guy, this guy's techies and Rubik, he, he literally does perfect rotations every single game. And Kaiori, this guy is very good at team fighting too, his Phoenix is insane. And Shadow Demon is pretty good too, very good at positioning and stuff. Some, he, he does feed sometimes, he, he's a little bit too aggressive sometimes, but sometimes that aggressive pays off. But are they better than Aster in gaming? Not sure. I'm not sure to be honest. Ooh, I, I think Quest will win the major to be honest. This is an insane prediction, I don't think anyone else is going to say this, but I, I watched a lot of Quest games, this team is insanely good. This Omar guy... How old is this Omar guy? This guy is, is a future superstar, I swear. 20. Yeah, this guy is insane. TA2K is also insane. And then Amar, obviously. Amar, Amar played so bad on Enigma, but then he goes on Quest. Improves so much. So I think finals will be Quest vs. Aster. Quest vs. Aster. Quest wins. 3, 2, 3, 2, 5 game series, I'm calling it, so let's go, so the finals, I think Quest is winning 3, 2 against Aster, and these are my predictions, one, one tip for Valve, please remove one slot from NA, this team should not make the major, Extreme Gaming did not make the major in China, Extreme Gaming is a million times better than that, it's, like, it's so obvious, <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching.